Good afternoon, dear viewers. I am happy to welcome you on the construction site. Today we have Ivan Konstantinovich Lazarevich with us. He is deputy editor-in-chief of Azelinograd newspaper 41. Ivan Konstantinovich, good afternoon. It's not your first time here. You have already spread a lot of information about the Sovolmash project. Your last visit here, if I'm not mistaken, was when the framework of the building was just being built, and there wasn't even the administrative building here back then. Today we have worked around what we have had time to build. What would you see? Nothing to comment, really. You can see everything with your own eyes. You see that in quite a short time, I was here last summer, so in quite a short time, huge work has been completed, enormous work has been completed, and as far as I understand, by the end of the year, the building will have been completed. Right, it is October 2022, according to the plan. We will have state commission then. It is not just, you know, the frame of the building. It is the building with all the engineering services, with all the technological equipment inside, and so on and so forth. There is still a lot of work to do, even though the scale of what has been done is huge. Ivan Konstantinovich, how would you estimate the speed and the quality of what you see? I can assume that you have been to other facilities which are being built in Zelenograd, so if you compare them to this one. Well, I have already spoken about the speed, it is impressive. As for quality, I was really happy to see that the project is really adapted to putting the most precise and technological production here. And this project will be used not only for producing electric motors, but also for producing the element base, something that we lack now in Russia, I mean our own element base. And I was also very happy to see that this project is universal, you can just replicate it, you can use it for well, for other types of production. We are speaking about the building, right? Yes, exactly. As for the element base, it's true. This problem is quite relevant now, not only in the Russian Federation, but also in other Western countries. The USA, for example, as far as I know. China is still ahead of everyone. And we are also working together with the Celestial Empire. There is our permanent representative office there, and there are negotiations with plants there. What we are now trying to create all together? Well, influence further development. We hope so. Another important question that I would like to ask. What's your attitude to the project? Not in terms of the original idea. As far as I remember, you supported us all the way. But rather in terms of what we have accomplished, what we have managed to achieve. Difficult to say, honestly. However, I do see that Sovolmash is not standing still. I see that Sovolmash is developing and mastering cutting-edge technologies, and I think that the company has a bright future. And if we look at prospects of development, do you think Sovolmash will be able to reach full capacity? And will it influence the economy of the Russian Federation? Well, as for the first part of the question, that depends on you entirely. But judging from your, you know, good stubbornness you have, you will achieve that. As for influence on the Russian economy, of course it will be there. Because the tasks that Sovolmash is solving, they are of global nature. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your interesting comments. We will be happy to see you anytime on all our sites, on the territory of the bureau that is being constructed and also on the areas where we have our main capacities. I'm always happy to come here and it is always interesting to cover what you are doing. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Goodbye.